Mux Mull, M U X M O O L. Uh, Big McLarge huge? Is that Big, a, that's a that's a Mystery Science Theater 3000 reference. Uh, it's, from, it's from Space Mutiny when they're doing all the you know slams, squat thrusts, thistle mix side iron. And, <laughs> I just think it's really funny. It's sort of a double entendre. Rift Tracks is Mike, Bill Corbett, and Kevin Murphy from the later cast. And then Rift Tracks is, I think, is a much better idea than what Joel and, you know, TV's Frank and um, Trace Blue and all those other guys. They do Cinematic Titanic, which is they tour and they do these things live. And I saw that too in Michigan last year. They're both really good. It's just Rift, Rift Tracks is cooler because. You can, they can, it's license free, they can do whatever movie they want. Yeah. And, um, you know, they, they can, they do all these modern jokes and it's less sticky, you know, like, they're gamers, so they make, like, references to, you know, World of Warcraft and stuff, it's pretty funny. Yeah. I think video games is probably the biggest influence, and it's, really funny because there's this quote that I'm not going to get it perfect, but it was the um, guy, the owner of uh, Atari company like many years ago and he's like, people don't emulate what they see in video games. Kids would did, did what they saw in Pac-Man. They'd be sitting in dark rooms chasing pills and listening to repetitive electronic music. It's like, damn, that's really, yeah, like we kind of do that now, right? <laughs> I do really well with intimate. Just a few people like... Anything under 200, I can kill it. So, I think it's because I just don't go out there and I don't look at the crowd like, yeah, it's me. It's just like, uh, you know, play like this. And you're like, oh, I don't, why don't you jump around? Like, you play so still, and it's like, because you can. Like, adding all this, it's not a guitar with all these big motions, it's a computer. Like, it should be small. Everything else that you add on top of that is just literally flash. They're not very flashy, I don't think. Opening up for Bass Nectar, New Year's 2011 to 2012, like 13,000 kids, that was really cool. And then the ones that stand out are just ones where, you know, I feel really good, you know, and it's like, I go up and I'm trying to be, you know, humble. And the hardest part about humility is you can't show that off. You can't go up there and just be like, what up, like, I, I care about you, and like, like, that doesn't really translate all that well. I'm just, that's why I'm trying to work with so many levels of subtlety, because if I stand very still with my head down and I'm playing, you know, there's more focus on just what I'm doing. Yeah. Which, you know, there's people who don't do anything, they just hit space bar and they have everything in arrangement view, and it's like, that is one way to play. That's not how I want to play. I never really wanted to play live shows, but then I was like, okay, if I'm going to, you know, what is it that I want to show? And it's like, well, that, you know, and, um, but then if I do that and then I just look up and I turn the volume down, you can get a lot of reaction, like just a little thing. And I feel like that's, that's utilizing, that's smarter, you know? I don't need a $10,000 lighting rig necessarily. Or like boosting posts on Facebook. I will not do that. I mean, refuse to because it's like Facebook is Facebook is already rich. They're trying to privatize the internet. Paying for something that used to be free just to reach your followers. So it's like fuck that, I'll hack that. Just make good posts and it gets around. Just write something good. But that's what most people can't do. Like, you know, like Lou Reed just died. And obviously Lou Reed has a very big place in music and history. What's up? Yeah, what's up? What's it? Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You guys playing tonight? Yeah. yeah. Wait. I'm yeah. Minnesota. Jones and that's Minnesota. 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 Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry. You guys are. Oh, no, no, no. This is this going to be part sure. of it. Oh. <laughs> G. Jones. They're friends. <laughs> yeah. All right. We gotta go this way. Yeah. Do it. See you then. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh right, Lou Reed. Yeah. And it's like, I almost made another point the other day because it's like, Lou Reed this, Lou Reed this, and like, what a loss, what a loss. And it's like, and I just, I hate it. It's like, okay. Did you, were you talking about how influential Lou Reed was the day before? Are you any more aware now that he's dead? It's, I wouldn't consider that a loss. I think it's like, just look at it as a game. It's like, yeah, he did a lot of stuff. Naturally, like every single other person, he died. It wasn't, a, you know, like, 
What about, it's so great that Lou Reed survived when so many people from that time died of things that I think should change, you know? Like, artists all being selfish drug addicts and stuff, and it's like, seeing someone who lives through that, you know, that's, that's really cool, you know? And nobody said it. You know? <laughs> Just like, man, hey everyone, I'm, I'm with it too. really into uh, social media stuff early on, I mean, like 2005, 2006, it was really cool how you could just, how involved you could get, and that's like with the MySpace days, and then when I got signed to Ghostly, you know, they they sort of pitched me like that, you know, like, um, but then it, it, it kind of fell off where it's just kind of like, you know, now you can buy Facebook likes and inflate, you know, like, exponentially, and then it doesn't have to be that way. You know, we have a great democracy with things like SoundCloud, you know, and YouTube and Netflix. You don't, there's no advertising, or almost no advertising. And the advertising you do get is, they know who you are when you log in. So it's directed at you, so less time spent on advertising and more direct advertising for things you might actually want. That's a great thing, you know? But they will take that away if they can, you know? Like nobody, there's like five people on the radio. It's like Rihanna Drake and like, I don't even know who the fuck else, but like, you're no longer restricted, so, you know, people listen, the kids listen to what it is that they want to hear. Some quality control goes out the window with that. Because before it was just make a song, put it up on SoundCloud, people think it's cool, and you feel popular, so that's why you do it. And then go through talk, I mean, like, well, just wait, like, give it more, give it more time. Don't play this for anyone, like, cultivate the product, and then really, really, Press people and wow people by putting it all out at once with like all complete everything. And it's like that's art direction. That's art direction that doesn't happen with some of the live stuff, you know. Uh, I just handed in an album to Ghostly, so we're working on release dates for that. Just a few working titles. Um, should be having another EP out somewhere soon. Uh, I'm not really sure on the details of that yet. But the, you know, I've been saving up for a long time to do a push. Uh, starting next starting next year, so there'll be a lot of this. Me coming back next year, so like you know, took some time off to reevaluate and see where everybody was headed, trying to make sure I wanted I was going the right way, the way I wanted. To.